Hi, this is question number two from the AQA Core 3 January 2013 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to see if you can try the question for yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and give it a go. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at the question. I'm now going to go through a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So, um, for part A, we need to use Simpson's rule with five ordinates, which is four strips, to calculate an estimate of this um, integral here, giving our answer to four significant figures. Okay, so Simpson's rule is available in the formula book, and what we need to do is we need to decide um, what n is, and n is the number of strips, so we need to know what value that is. Um, a and b are the limits of our integral, um, which we can stick into here to work out what the value of h is. We also then need to know what each of the y ordinates are um, going from 0 and because there's going to be 5 ordinates it's going to go from 0 um, to our nth ordinate which is going to be 4. Now a useful thing to do here is to draw a table and your table might look something like this here and um, what you would need to do next is to work out um, what the value of each of these ordinates are and substitute this into um, this formula here to give your estimate. Okay, um, part B says show that the exact value of this integral is ln k where k is an integer. Now um, the thing to spot here is that the um, top of the function is um, the well almost the derivative of the bottom of the function it's a multiple of the derivative of the bottom um, of the function um, so there's a particular rule that you you should know um, where and I'll write it over here where if I've got the integral of a function where the top is the differential of the bottom then that's going to give me the ln of the bottom function. Okay, um, so you want to see if you can use that to work out um, what the um, value of the integral is. Okay, those are my hints to you, so if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at answering the question. Okay, um, I'm now going to go over the answers to the um, questions. So, um, for part A, we're going to use Simpson's rule, and um, and I said that I was going to fill in the values into um, this table here. So before we do that, actually, um, we need to work out what the value of h is. Um, well, n is going to be equal to um, and that's the number of strips which is 4 and h is going to be equal to um, b take away a which is 4 take away 0 which is 4 divided by n which is 4 and 4 divided by 4 is 1 so we've got n is equal to 4 and h is equal to 1 um, and now I'm going to grab this and um, I'll bring this over here and we're going to fill out the values of, of each of these here so um, when for um, y sub naught well um, that's when x is equal to 0 so if I put that into this function here I've got 0 divided by 2 which is just going to be 0 and if I put 1 into this function here, I've got 1 divided by 3, which is a third. If I put 2 into this function here, I've got 2 divided by 6, which is going to be 2 sixths, which is a third. Put 3 into this, so I've got 3 over, and that's going to be 11. So 3 elevenths. And finally, put the 4 into here, I've got 4 over 18, so 4 18 which is 2 ninths. Okay, so I now know um, what each of these are and I'm going to go ahead and stick this into this formula over here. 
Now, um, I like to think of this formula in a slightly different way, um, and I'll write it over here. Um, I've got a third of h times by, and these are my ends, and they're the end ordinates, and then four times, and these here are going to be my odds, and they're the, all the odd ordinates, so y1, y3, y5, etc. Um, and then these here are going to be my evens, which are going to be obviously y2, y4, etc. Um, and, and it just makes the, the formula a little bit easier to deal with. So I've got my ends, my odds and my evens, and I've got one lot of my ends, I've got four lots of my odds and two lots of my evens. So um, sticking all of this into my formula, um, I can say, well, the integral of um, this here is roughly going to be equal to a third times h, which is 1. So a third times 1. I'll just stick it in there. Um, and then we're going to times that by my ends which are going to be this one and this one here so 0 plus 2 ninths and I'm just going to tick these to show that I've used them so 0 plus 2 ninths which is going to be 2 ninths plus and we're going to have 4 times by my odd ordinates so that's going to be 4 times and my odd ordinates are going to be a third and 3 elevenths so we've got a third this three elevenths and I'm just going to tick those to show that I've used them um, and then I've got plus two times by my even ordinates now we need to be careful um, we don't want to use our end ordinate again so we just want this one here um, and that's going to be a third okay and um, so that's going to be um, approximately equal to and I'm just going to smash all of this into my calculator um, and that gives me um, roughly 1.104 and that's to um, four significant figures there we go now for part B um, and I'll, I'll carry on over here so part B um, we want to show the exact value of this here um, f where it's lung k and k is an integer and we started off by deciding well we've got this here we've got this idea here and I'll bring that over here and we know that the top is almost the derivative of the bottom and in fact I'm now going to rewrite um, this here and um, if I differentiate the bottom, I actually get 2x. I don't get x, I get 2x. So I'm going to rewrite this as x squared plus 2, and I'm going to put a 2x on the top. Now obviously, um, this integral is twice as big as this integral, so if I want this to be the same as this, I need to half it. And now these two integrals mean exactly the same thing. But I've now got this in the right format because the top is the um, derivative of the bottom. OK, so that integral is now going to be equal to, well, I know using this rule here that I'm going to have, um, this is going to integrate to give me the learn of this bottom um, this denominator here so I'm now going to have a half of ln and that's going to be x squared plus 2 and between the values of 4 and 0 ok um, so this um, is um, my integral now um, and I'm going to substitute these values in to work out the value of the of this definite integral so um, 
that's going to be equal to and I'm going to have a half of um, and I'll stick this bit in brackets and we've got the ln of um, and I substitute 4 into here so that's going to give me 18 take away the ln and I'm going to stick the 0 into here and that's going to give me 2 OK, so I've got a half of ln 18 take away ln 2. So that's going to be, well, using our laws of logarithms, that's going to be 18 divided by 2, which is going to give me 9. So that's so if I was going to write this as a single logarithm, I'd have a half of ln 9. Mm -hmm. And um, this can be simplified further because this is going to be equal to ln of 9 to the power of a half which is um, the ln of 3 and that tells us that the k is going to be equal to 3 OK, um, and we can do a quick check here because if I put in the ln of 3 into my calculator I should get something that's round about this kind of ballpark um, number here. Remember this is an approximation of this integral and this is the exact value of this integral so this one's going to be more accurate than this one here. Okay hopefully that was useful um, thanks very much for joining me I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.